guys and welcome to the Corsair Vengeance M65 unboxing. Now I have been wanting to get my hands on this for a while and obviously finally have. Now this is a gaming mouse and this is a luxury gaming mouse. It cost me £50 or you in the US it cost you around $70. That's on the Corsair website anyway but you can probably get it a bit cheaper on somewhere like Amazon. First, first things first, it comes in three colours. You've got this one here, which is the navy green, but then you've also got a black version and a white version. So if you have a Mac, then you can use the white version. It doesn't officially support Macintosh, but I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, you just wouldn't be able to change any of the DPI and things like that. But minimum system requirements for this thing are PC with USB port, obviously, then Windows 8, 7, Vista or XP, an internet connection for the drivers, and at least 35 megabytes of disk space. So, not particularly interesting stuff, but you need to make sure you have all them, which of course everyone will. Um, but on the box, as you can see, it's not a bad little box. It doesn't stand out in the shop, but it's a box. Um, it's left and right clicks rated to 20 million clicks, so that will last you a long time. It's got a side mounted sniper button, which will instantly reduce DPI, which you can't see yet, so I won't show you, but it's on that side about there ish. Um, user configurable weights for optimal center of gravity control, so you can change the weight of it. So if you want a nice light mouse, you can have a nice light mouse. If you want a slightly heavier mouse, you can have a slightly heavier mouse. So it depends on the sort of game you're playing and depends on your personal preference. Tracking of up to 165 inches per second, which is a lot. Up to 30G acceleration and automatic frame rate control. How much of that is just marketing, we will find out. But the main thing is that it's got an 8200 DPI sensor, which is absolutely massive. And the higher you put the DPI, then the less you have to move the mouse to actually move the pointer. So that means that if you want a nice smooth experience, then you bump the DPI up rather than bumping up the sensitivity in the Windows menu because that's more artificial whereas this is real tracking ability. So that's all it says on the back of the box anyway so it's quite nice looking and you've got some weights that you can put in but obviously we need to open it up and see what's in the box. But yeah I really should have learned by now to like kind of half open the box before I start but it is half open now so let's open up the box and let's actually see what is inside. So once you've got through the packaging you've got nice not necessarily um, environmentally friendly, but it's not that horrible shrink wrapping stuff. So it just slides off, and then you've got obviously the mouse and some other stuff. So we've got this lovely, oh, it does feel nice actually, lovely M65 mouse, a lovely braided cable, and nice blue Corsair USB connection, so you'll know what your mouse is. That's actually quite a bit more useful than I thought it would be. It feels really nice, it is a plastic, but it doesn't feel like a really cheap plastic, it does feel nice and premium, fits in your hand quite nicely actually, and it's metal on the underside, so that's aluminium, and then you've got where your weights will go, in there, and you've got your buttons, so you've got the big sniper button here, so perfect application, this would be Battlefield 3, you're running around with the L98 or whatever it is, um, and then as soon as you need to actually deploy, you get your sniper out, you just hit this button and it will change your low DPI so you have a lot more accuracy and then once you're done hit the button again and then you're back to running around and gunning everyone down like that. You've got the classic left and right buttons there so I imagine they are defaulted to setting your browser to go back and to go forward but obviously you'll be able to change all this in the included software. Then you've got a really nice premium wheel and then you've got your three DPI buttons here but again these can be changed if you want to keep your DPI constant so these should do other things like throw secondary grenades or whatever it is you want to assign it to. This is a first person shooter mouse they do have an MMO mouse so this is keeping the amount of buttons more to a minimum but they're all the buttons you need so it's not compromising anything unless you what say wanted to play an MMO and an FPS Anyway, that is the mouse, so I will put that aside. And then the only other thing in the box, apart from a load of packaging, is this, which says, stop, do not return this to a store. All right, so if it needs repairing, then of course they will do that themselves. Um, not particularly interesting, it's just telling you the instructions. It's obviously, turn it on, plug it in, get the software, 
Do you think you can manage that? I think you can. And then you've just got your warranty guide, so nothing particularly interesting. But let's plug this bad... No, I'm not going to call it bad boy. Let's plug the mouse in and let's see if it's actually any good. So, here is the Corsair M65 Vengeance mouse in navy green. Now, I thought I'd leave this one here just for a second just to show you the difference. This is half the cost. This is a Logitech G400. And as you can see, the Corsair one does look significantly better. It looks like it's made out of significantly better materials as well. So I'll just move it around. Here's the sniper button, as you can see. And if we move it around to the other side, you can see that there aren't any buttons this side, but obviously your thumb's going to be sitting there, so it's not really going to be that easy anyway to actually use them. I'll get rid of this one for now, so i chuck that away. Um, since the second I plugged it in, it feels very, very good. DPI is by default seems to be very high actually, I'd say around 2500, but we just download the software and I will let you know. Just while the software is downloading, I realised I'm very sorry, I didn't actually show you all of the mouse. So, start again. So, so we've got this is the sniper DPI button right here. We've got this lovely braided cable. Lovely braided cable. And then we've got our two buttons here, so if you want to go left, or you want to go right, so back or forward in your browser, then these be the ones you can use, but you can assign them with the software. Um, on top, you see we've got this lovely metallic wheel here. Nice, really nice, feels really nice. And obviously that's rubberly gripped on the top. And then we've got our DPI buttons here, so you've got, I imagine anyway, increase, decrease, or whatever it is. And then that will be the default one, but you, again, you'll be able to change all that in the settings. On this side, there isn't anything. Uh, there are these gaps, I'm not sure whether I like that, I'm not that fast, so you can see you can actually get your fingers in the mouse, but that's not too bad. And it's not quite nice and light, but if I wanted to I could ch you know, change the weights, these here, you just unscrew them, put new ones in, nice like that. And there's not that much else to say really, other than there's the sensor there, nice aluminium body on underneath, and then the really nice actually army colour green, I co I'm quite glad I went for that. I thought white well, would be the best, but I thought that would get a bit, get a bit grimy, a bit grubby. It's something you're touching all the time. So, and then black's a bit boring. So I thought I'd go for the navy, and I think I'm quite glad that I did. Um, it does light up slightly. So, yeah, um, software's done. Let's just have a quick look, and I will get the software done for you. So we just downloaded all the software. It was a 33 megabyte file, so obviously it's not very much. The first thing I did was actually update the firmware on the mouse, which you can see here, firmware updated successfully, so the mouse itself is up to date. Um, let's just open up the software. So here is the software. Now you can see you can click on any of these buttons and change what they do, all pretty self-explanatory. You do have some advanced options and stuff, so you can set macros, so you can make a mouse do loads of different commands if you so desire. Um, all these different options, delay options, loads of different options, so if you I, I don't know what you'd want to do, but if you're in an MMO and wanted to do something that you would normally take you a few keys, then you could just set all this and you can set all sorts of advanced stuff. So you've got plenty of stuff to play about with. Um, but what we want really is the managed, uh, managed performance. So you can see there are three DPI levels. So on the mouse, where well, I showed you earlier, you've got those three buttons at the, on the top, and you can choose what each of these three buttons do. So rather than selecting DPI up or DPI up down, each of these three buttons will have a DPI. So 800, which is what most mouse are actually are by default, so horribly slow. 2400, so again that's middle of the road. Um, 6000, that is absolutely massive. Um, not really sure I'd want to use that, but if I wanted to use that I could. And then you can again choose the sniper and that the the default one here is 400, so I think I will change that to 800, just like so. And the middle one, I will change to 2000, so that will be the one I will use on the desktop. And then this one that's on 6000, I will place on 3000. Again, this is just me putting in some numbers. And then the lower one, 1500. So I've got three different levels that I can customise, and now that they are customised, they're saved to the mouse. So as soon as I close it, then it will just do it. And then you've got surface quality test here. Not really sure what this is. 
Real time surface quality. Move your mouse around. Um, okay. Not. It's testing how good the surface is, and this is a gaming surface I've got it on. But how much do you want to bet it will say buy the Corsair one because this one's not as good? But we're, 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 I'm interested to see what it says. Um, lift height. So I imagine that will be if you want to lift the mouse, but why, why do you want to do that? I have no idea. Report rate. You've got one millisecond here, um, which you'll want it on because obviously you want it on the lowest one there is. But if you did want it on a higher one, you could change that. Not really sure why you'd want to. Surface quality is middle of the road apparently. Um, done all that, and then you've got your profiles. So let's put it there. And your profiles. Again, you can have different profiles. You can load up each profile and you can save them to the M65. Now. A benefit of doing this, I imagine, can't say for sure, is that if you did then go to plug it into a Mac, so say you wanted a nice mouse for your Mac, you bought the white one, um, but the software isn't compatible with Mac, what I imagine you could do is you could save to the hardware, so the mouse, you could save to the hardware the profile, so the DPI you want, and then when you plug it into your Mac, it'll work. Job done. And you have the DPI that you want, but obviously you won't be able to change it on the fly, so Windows, that has always been the benefit, you know, you can get software for it, but, you know, just because you have a Mac doesn't mean you wouldn't want a nice mouse, so, yeah, yeah, I'd recommend this if you wanted a Mac as well, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, what can I say so far? Haven't had enough time to properly use it, I'll have spent eight days with it like I usually do and let you know how I get on, but it seems to be a very, very nice mouse, feels nice in the hand, it's got plenty of options to change and it feels like it's going to last a long time so I couldn't ask for that much more really and it's got the lovely braided cable. Thank you for watching this unboxing and first look and I will see you either in 8 days for the review or hopefully I'll see you a lot sooner when you're checking out some of my other content. Thank you for watching and see you later.